Okay, so Saru, let's proceed ahead with your uh, snap for uh, strength of material, and you are going for Bhava Tomic Research Center, right? Yes, sir. Mm, okay, so uh, Saru, let me ask you uh, your uh, view on different kind of uh, modulus a material has. Yes, sir. A material has Young's modulus of elasticity, a shear modulus, and bulk modulus. And the Young's modulus of elasticity basically uses uh, it is a re relationship within elastic limit between stress and strain, whereas bulk modulus of elastic uh, elasticity used as a ratio of uh, change in pressure to volumetric strain, and uh, whereas shear modulus is used in shear strain. It is ratio of shear stress upon shear strain. Hmm. What is the significance of all these modules? So all these modules used to find uh, let's say elastic stress or elastic strain when the material is loaded in different loadings. Mm. Okay, which module has maximum value? Sir, Young's modulus has maximum value. Why? Why Young's modulus has maximum? Young's modulus is the ratio of stress upon strain. So uh, I think within elastic limit, a material should be uh, able to survive more stress uh, as compared to any other stress. Like uh, as we know, shear stress is almost half of a uh, tensile strain in elastic uh, tensile material. So that must be lower than uh, what we say Young's modulus. And as compared to bulk modulus, it is the ratio of change in pressure to volumetric strain. So it must be uh, even lower than uh, volumetric strain is coming in denominator. So it must be even lower than uh, Young's modulus. Okay, I am giving you one diagram uh, where a load is applied, something like this. Is it visible to you? Yes, sir. Make this diagram in your copy. Four loads are applied, or just yeah, three load. loads are applied. Two okay. upside and one is downside. It is simply supported, and three loads are applied. Yeah, it is simply supported beam at A and B. Yes, simply supported beam at a and b and then three loads are applied two yes, loads sir. are applied on upside and one load is applied on downside something like this yes sir right no, noted down sir yeah and length each length is l yes sir What should I do in this problem? You have to find SFD BMD. Okay. Sir.
Okay, sir. I draw the SFD BMD. Do you get point of counterflexion? Yes, sir. There is a point of counterflexion. Yes. Mm. At at mid point. What is the significance of this? So the point of counterflexion is a point where bending moment changes sign. Just uh, like uh, in the uh, right half, it is uh, negative bending moment. In the left half, it is positive bending moment. It is changing sign. Mm. And what is the significance of that? Sir, when it comes to significance. Whatever you said is a definition. You know, yes, tell sir. me what is the significance of that? Why do we want to calculate it? Yes, sir. There are some. Uh, we know that on the right side, the bending moment is negative, and the and the left side bending moment is positive. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, sir. On the left side, there is a compression because on the negative bending moment, which is which means uh, hogging bending moment, and positive means sagging. Means on the top side there will be compression, or bottom side will be tension, and the reverse will be on the left side. So I can apply proper material like uh, some reinforcement I am supposed to do. Then I know on which point there is some maximum compression and maximum tension. And similarly on the right side, there is maximum tension and maximum compression. According to that, I can apply a proper reinforcement. To the okay, beam. so if I want to calculate at which point this beam is going to fail. Yes, Where will that point be, There are two points in this beam where bending moment is maximum, and at the same point, shear force is also maximum. So these are the critical points. According to that, I will design the beam. Mm. Do you think probability is equal of failure at both these points? Yes, sir. It should be equal. It will fail because of which stress? It's a problem of combined loading, I think, because bending moment and shear force. So I have to find principal Is stresses and according. Is the bending moment and shear force equal at these two points? Yes, the numerical value is equal at both the points because bending moment is negative at one point, but uh, uh, and at another point it is positive. And shear force is same at both the points. Shear force is same, right? Yes. Hmm. Okay, sir. So I'm So in such situation, what happens? How the beam will fail? Well, we need to know the material of the beam, and with the help of uh, theories of failure, we can uh, we can design it with the help of theories of failure and principal stresses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, sort of tell me one thing. Uh, how do you differentiate uh, the beam from a column, as far as the design is concerned? beam is applied with a transverse loading whereas column is applied with axial loading means the beam we have we can say they are applied a udl if we consider in our uh, homes so there is udl and transverse shear loading or transverse bending moment is applied over that but in columns you can say they are axial loading on that and they might they might fail in buckling or crushing mm. okay and what about the cross section part of beam and column how do we design that
can i make can i make a rectangular uh, triangular shape beam for aesthetics or from beauty beam is applied to bending moment and yeah it is possible you can make a, a rectangular beam there is no problem in that no rectangular to i can make can i make triangular also no there's a triangular also you can make but it depends on the value of stress that come into that only thing is we want to make it strong right yes, yes, strength sir. should be equal yes sir and strength is calculated on the basis of uh, section modulus yes sir so can you tell me if i want to make as strong triangular beam as a rectangular yes sir how should i choose uh, you know dimensions i give you a rectangular beam of uh, width b depth d okay sir i gave you a rectangular beam which is of width v and depth d you are to design a, a triangular beam for me so that it is equally strong okay sir and when i am saying strong i simply mean z value section modulus of both of them yes okay sir z value should be same so design a triangular beam for me equally strong sir after equating the section modulus i get uh, uh, this value like uh, section modulus of triangle rectangle is bd square by 6 while it section modulus of triangle is b b dash which is square by 24 So equating these uh, two value, we can get the dimensions. What dimension are taking, sir? So this uh, this value I got by equating the section modulus of them. Like a rectangle section modulus is b d square by six, and when it comes for uh, b dash, it's square by a twenty four four uh, triangle. So what are uh, for triangle you are taking b and d, yeah? Huh? Base you are taking b. B dash sir B is already there B in the dash. rectangle. B so dash. B dash. B dash. And height you are taking H, huh? Yes, sir. Hmm. But what what answer you have to offer to the designer? What you will tell him? Because you have to tell him something like the triangle ka base itna manao height itni manao. Kuch to batana padega apko. Wo bolega ki main triangular beam bana raha hu. I am making a triangular beam. Suggest yes, me dimension. So you need to give me B and H. That's it. So I need at least one value of uh, these two. So now you have to tell me what is the dimension of triangle that is base and height. What you should keep? Huh? Is area of both of them are equal or just strength is equal? No, no. Z value has to be equal. Okay. You need to keep Z value equal. Rectangle ka Z value. तुम्हें पता लग गया? Yes, sir. अभी तुम्हें उसका बस जेड वैल्यू इक्वल रखना है चलो सर आई नीड टू एंड अप योर सेशन हियर आई थिंक सिक्स ओ क्लॉक आई हैव अनदर सेशन सो दीज आर द क्वेश्चन इसके बारे में सोचो जो मैंने अभी क्वेश्चन लिया आपको कि अगर हमें डिजाइन करना हो तो कैसे करेंगे इसका क्वेश्चन का सोचो हाउ विल सॉल्व इट and uh, make it up ha huh? how we'll do that yeah. and uh, the rest of the questions were good aaj aapki performance mere ko achhi lagi yes sir aaj aapne acche bata diye sare answer that performance was good except this last question jisme aap bhide ho abhi right isko solve karo and then find out the answer for that right yeah.